Hey, welcome everybody to part 13, I think, or like 12, 13, or 14 of this Android Studio Kotlin tutorial. Today we're going to learn about fragments and frame layout. So in the last video we made this little page where we have a toggle there and it shows the terms of service button. But I'm just going to show you what we're going to do today. So what we're going to do today is every time you toggle that on, it'll load a new fragment here. So we can type out our name, our email address, and our password. So every time you, you know, agree to our terms, it's gonna show this fragment here. Um, and this is kind of good if you wanna replace a large part of the screen. So see all this pink area right there? That's all like, it's kind of like a screen inside of a screen, if you will. So we'll make this big outer screen with the white there. Uh, then we'll create a fragment, which is just the pink right here. And this fragment can be, it can be just another layout just kind of like this, but instead of terms of service, what we can do is we can put in name, email, password, and you can swap fragments out. So say you want to hit the button, maybe this pink fragment can turn to a different color and maybe you show them something else they fill out or whatever. Hopefully this makes sense and we'll go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and kill that. So that's what we're going to do. The first thing we need to do is build our layout. So I'm going to open up app, resources, layouts, and let's go ahead and right click and go new layout resource file and we'll call this um, second or we'll call this um, first fragment and we'll go ahead and get rid of that and do constraint layout that's good hit enter and that creates the layout for us I'm just gonna drag in one button just for now and I'm also gonna select constraint layout and I'm gonna make the background color where's the background color I'm gonna go ahead and make it red actually that's too bold let's just make it let's make it a nice i'm not a, i'm not a designer so i don't know this i'm just going to make it a different color just so we can tell that it actually is its own fragment so again we'll go ahead and just constrain that we've done some of this in previous videos left to left of top to top of there's a button there i'm going to go ahead and save it and this is going to be our fragment so this all this blue right here that you see that's all going to go inside of I don't have it up anymore, but that's gonna go inside of, it's gonna go like right there. So inside of our content main, let's drag in a frame layout. So frame layout is frame layout. I'm gonna click and drag and I'll put it right there. And I'm gonna go ahead and just make it, just for now, I'm gonna make it kind of small. Uh, then what we're gonna do is we're gonna click, drag, let go, click, drag, let go, and then click, drag, and let go. With that selected, I'm going to open up the uh, attributes on the right. I'm going to select the frame layout, then I'm going to keep clicking on this until it looks good. So like that, where it has, where it just takes up the full screen there. And also let's do one more thing. Let's make the height of this. Let's make it, instead of 220 dp, let's make it, let's make it 500 dp. Why not? Enter. Now it makes it kind of much uh, taller. So I'm gonna go ahead and select the frame layout and let's make this frame layout. I think we can actually set a background color on it. I'm not sure, we can try. Let's do this, let's do, we'll do, we'll just make it a gray, uh, it didn't do anything, background. Yeah, I don't know if, I typically don't need to do this, but I'm gonna select that, background. Let's just get rid of the background, we don't need that. It'll, it'll be evident once we start putting our first fragment inside of there. Okay, so we have our fragment there, or we have our frame layout there, our frame layout, and we're in design mode. So what we're going to do is we need to put this first fragment right here, we need to put all of this inside of there. So how can we do that? Let's open up main activity, and in a previous video you saw that we had this uh, kind of toggle set up. So what we need to do is let's go to main activity, let's give this an ID of our frame layout, just so it's really clear. So our frame layout. I'm gonna go back to main activity. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do, um, we'll do um, support fragment man. We need to create the fragment first. Uh, let's go ahead and do that. Let's just create the, let's create the fragment first. So click on Java example or the first one there and let's go to new Kotlin file and we'll call this first fragment. Set that for a class, hit enter. And this is gonna be our new class. This is, all this right here is gonna be, um, it's gonna be, we're inside of this frame layout right there. So let's go ahead and do this. So for this frame layout, let's do this. Let's, let's, let's extend some code. Let's do fragment. I mean to do that. And I'll go ahead and format the code just so it looks nice. And inside of here, let's do on create view. And 
Yeah, so so yeah, so just start typing inside of first fragment do on create view. It should auto complete. Just hit enter and it'll open it up for you. And then let's just get rid of that line because we don't need it. And let's do this. Let's, let's return return. We'll do inflator dot inflate. And then here we provided our first fragment layout. So that's the fragment right here with this blue background that we want. So we'll call this um, r.layout.firstfragment. And that name right there matches the name right there. So first fragment, there we go. Then we also have, we need to pass in container, and then false. And I think this shall work. Great. So I'm going to go ahead and save that. And if we go ahead and run it, you should notice that nothing changes. That's because we haven't actually placed, we, actually, we, actually, we haven't actually placed our fragment inside of the frame layout. So if we go back inside of content main, we have a place here, we have this frame layout, and there's a place for it right there, but we haven't actually put this first screen and this fragment inside of this content main. So what we can do is we can do, let's go into main activity and let's do this now. Let's do support frag, uh, let's do support fragment manager dot, I think it's begin transaction dot replace. And then we need to pass in the ID of our frame layout. So we called it our frame layout. So let's do that. Let's do our frame layout. I think it needs to be r dot id dot our frame layout. Uh, then we'll, we need to provide it a fragment. So our fragment is the first fragment. It's all of this. This is our fragment here. This is the Kotlin code for our fragment. It's called first fragment. So let's go ahead and type that in. First fragment. And we need that. And then one last thing. We need dot commit. And I think this will work. I know this is kind of a lot of code and it might be a little bit confusing. But hopefully, hopefully, um, hopefully you learned something. And let's go ahead and run it. And this should show it instantly. And it does. So there's our frame layout. There's our fragment. Now what I did before is I moved all of this code into the trigger for the button. So if I wanted to only show this when, when the button is enabled, what I could do is I could copy all of that, could get rid of it, and I'll put it inside of if is checked. So I, what I can do is I, I, I can do paste it inside of there. So now every time it's checked, it'll show up. So I'll go ahead and play that, and let's see what happens. Okay, so there's no fragment there. As soon as we turn it on, boom, there's our fragment. And see this blue, all that blue right there? That all comes from right here. So now that we have our frame, we could do all kinds of stuff. We could add in a text field. We could uh, add in a phone number. We can add in a, a password. We can, we can use constraint layout. We can like click and drag. We can click and drag. We can click and drag. I'm get, probably getting tired of me saying this. Click and drag. I'll just do this last one just, to, just for an example. But this can be anything you want it to be. I mean, anything. It can be images. It can be text. It can be buttons. It can be photos. It can be, it can be whatever you want to do. So let's go ahead and run it, and let's see. So nothing there. As soon as we turn it on, here is all of our information. We can enter in our our phone number, our password. See what has the number right there? Uh, we can type in our email address or whatever, whatever I made that for. So yeah, this is a fragment. Now what you can do is you can actually have, say you have three buttons up here, like a button there, a button there, and a button there. When you click on one of those buttons, you can change the frame layout that's right here. All you need to do is create, all we need to do is instead of first fragment, call it like second frag, meant, if I can spell that. So second fragment, then you need to create all this Kotlin code for second fragment, and then another one of these layout files for second fragment. So yeah, there's a lot that you can do with fragments, and hopefully you'll learn something. If, if you have any questions, I know I'm kind of busy, and I, don't, and I don't always have time to, I don't always have time to respond to all the comments, but if you have comments, leave them leave them below in the YouTube channel and I'll try to get to them if I have time. Again, this is a fragment here. It's kind of like a part of, it's kind of like a screen inside of another screen. So I'll see you in the next video.